Marvel Comics' newest ongoing series involving the Amazing Spider-Man has fleshed out a fascinating relationship between Peter Parker and Norman Osborn. Towards the start of this latest run, Peter Parker was even employed by Osborn himself at Oscorp. However, things took an incredibly dark turn in the landmark 50th issue of the series where Norman Osborn's goblin sins caught up with him. Norman ended up infecting Peter Parker with the sins of the goblin as well and kicked off the easy being green story arc. Now it's time to see if Peter Parker and Norman Osborn are able to put the sins of the goblin to bed and move on with their lives. My name is Arako Braddock and today let's go ahead and preview The Amazing Spider-Man issue 54. Before we get deeper into the video, I want to encourage you to consider subscribing to the channel. The Amazing Spider-Man issue 54 is written by Zeb Wells, featuring artwork from Ed McGuinness. In addition, we have inks from Mark Farmer, Mark Morales, Wade Von Grabadger, and Ed McGuinness. And the colors in the issue are coming in over from Marcio Menis. We have letters from VC's Joe Caramagna, and the cover for the issue that does an excellent job previewing the Easy Being Green story arc is illustrated by Ed McGuinness, Mark Farmer, and Marcio Menis. I love the way that readers can see the spider goblin pushing on so much of the tension from Norman Osborn himself, as well as the goblin sins. Also, I want to give a quick thank you to Adventures in Poor Taste and explore some of the beautiful preview pages in the issue coming in from artist Ed McGuinness. I really think that Ed McGuinness as a creator is so accommodating towards the amazing Spider-Man. The way that he's able to draw an incredibly nimble Peter Parker is just so fascinating to witness on the page. I think also by the fact that you can see this preview page up on the screen, we have a great visual example for how interesting Ed McGuinness is able to lay out some of these desperate pages. Readers really catch a glimpse of a very evil, amazing Spider-Man consumed by the sins of the Goblin, stating the Green Goblin has a new home. This preview page from Ed McGuinness is so striking here as Kamala Khan has such a strong facial expression and readers get to see the character of Rec Rap talking about the fatal blow that he encountered in a previous issue here. Zeb Wells is so great at writing some of the dialogue over for Rec Rap and watching the character not realize how many organs he has is just a great way to show how clueless Rec Rap as a character can be throughout some of these pages. Also, I'm loving some of these strained facial expressions from both Craven the Hunter and J. Jonah Jameson. The idea that Craven the Hunter is somehow scared of the Goblin Sins or the Amazing Spider-Man is yet another really interesting uh, story hook that Wells is able to touch on again and again throughout the Amazing Spider-Man's core series. Later on in the comic book, readers head directly back to the battle between Norman and Peter, which consists of most of the issue as they battle the Goblin Sins. Watching Peter try to cleanse himself from some of the Goblin Sins and work alongside Norman throughout this chapter is super thrilling, and I also liked how much of the Amazing Spider-Man's backstory was referenced in Norman's desperate attempt to purge Peter of the Sins. For my money, some of the very best work in the comic book issue comes in the final pages that artist Ed McGuinness is able to render on the installment. Watching Peter Parker check back in with Norman after all the dust has settled on this story arc is an incredibly cathartic way to resolve this plot thread that readers have been following since the very early days of this ongoing series that's now hit issue 54. Also, the way that Ed McGuinness is able to depict some of the facial expressions for Norman does a great job rendering his character in a way that feels so relatable, not only to readers, but to Peter Parker himself as a hero. Zeb Wells as a creator has paid really close attention to so much of the continuity, and I love the fact that Peter Parker references that he did the job that Norman is trying to recruit him for already, and may not need to fill that same role again later on in the scope of the issue. Also, I think one of the most dramatic pieces of Amazing Spider-Man is the final page that actually doesn't resolve on a cliffhanger, but just gives readers a clean ending for an incredibly hectic storyline. So at the end of the day here, I really think Marvel Comics has accomplished something really special with the easy being green story. 
watching Peter and Norman test their relationship in this really tense scenario really created an interesting way for Wells to put both of these two individuals through a trial. Also, as we've seen throughout this current run on Amazing Spider-Man, I think the most important relationship to the comic book series so far has been with Norman Osborn and Peter Parker. Plus, the way that Zeb Wells was able to leverage some of the Spider-Man supporting cast with characters like Kamala Khan, Dr. Connors, as well as the mysterious rec rap is also so much fun. I really wish that some of the artwork in this comic book was a little bit more consistent. We have so many disparate inkers on the issue. I feel like the first page is a lot different from the final one. Overall, though, I think Ed McGinnis is such an expressive artist for The Amazing Spider-Man, and I'm a huge fan of what he's delivered here. I want to know from you, what do you think about some of the final moments that Zeb Wells left off on in the relationship between Peter and Norman? Did you like some of the massive fisticuffs between these two characters battling the goblin sins? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for catching our video review over on Amazing Spider-Man 54, and we'll be back to see wherever this series is headed next. Thanks so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.